Hello and welcome to another Fate Stroke Games unboxing video. For this video, we are going to be unboxing the new Star Wars Legion Shadow Collective starter set. Um, looking forward to finally getting this opened up. Got a little glare there. Opened up and so we can see what the contents inside and get this built up. And obviously we're going to be painting some of the units. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get the camera turned around. And then we'll be right back. So here's what the front of the box looks like. We've got Maul in this awesome little menacing pose marching down the field. We can see Rook cast here. Um, looks like Vigo, some of the special, or uh, some of the Maldalorians in the background, some of the Pikes, and then on the back, you can obviously see it has a breakdown of all of the minis that are included, the contents. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to start to get this thing opened up. So, <laughs> first thing we get are a full bag of bases which are going to be fun uh, all the sprues all the minis are going to be on here you've got flight stands i'm going to do my best to not use flight stands with the multiplorians here um, you've got all of your tokens that you'll need for your army if you decide to use these tokens uh if you're running just a shadow collective army your welcome poster so it shows all of the units all painted up and then on the other side you've got a poster of the box art itself and then the cards that come with the box set so it looks like we've got black sun enforcer it gets uh, cash dodge uh, Black Sun Vigo, Independent Surge, and this is your leader. The Magnet Enforcer. Uh, three blacks at range one with blast impact three. So if you can get up there, it's really good against armored vehicles. Scattergun Enforcer, two red with pierce. This is obviously the fleet trooper shotgun. Same, same loadout and everything. Uh, foot Soldier. Add his foot soldier mini and cash aim one. That's not bad. Pike Sank at Capo. Uh, you had a Capo mini. It's your leader. You get independent surge one. Electro Whip Soldier. Melee to range one, two red, immobilize one, and suppressive. P13 M Disruptor Soldier. One to four, one red, two black. Uh, impact one. Super Commando Gunslinger, two black, two white, uh, lethal one, range one to two. Super Commando Marksman, range one to three, red, white, and black with precise one. Mandalorian Super Commando is just a Mandalorian Super Commando, but you get cash surge two. Uh, Super Commando Jetpack Rockets, a one time exhaust, range four, one red. Blast, Critical 1, Impact 1. Super Commando Combat Shields, Shielded 2. Rook Cast, Range 1 to 2. Health of 2, 2 red, 2 white, with Retinue Maul and Leader. The Dark Saber, which is Thick Black Maul, uh, Shadow Collective Maul only. Um, you are Commander. Surge to crit and cunning. Sidearm, melee, ranged, impact two, pierce two. Anger, which we've seen before. Fear, force choke, saber throw, force push, improvised orders, tenacity, hunter, HQ uplink, recon intel, two of those, two targeting scopes, and two fragmentation grenades. And then we've got the command cards. The one pit ploy. No units. You must nominate a mercenary unit. You can nominate uh, an operative unit. Choose one of your order tokens and place it face down on this card. 
You may look at this token at any time. When you would draw an order token from your order pool, you may use the order token on this card instead. Two pip aggression, two units. You must nominate a mercenary unit. When issuing orders with this card, you may issue up to two fewer orders. Um, for each order not issued, choose a different friendly mercenary unit in range one to three. Each chosen unit gains an aim token. And discretion, three units, three pip. You must nominate a mercenary unit. When issuing orders with this card, you may issue up to three fewer orders. For each order not issued, choose a different friendly mercenary unit at range one to three. Each chosen unit gains a dodge token. And then we've got Maul's cards, his three pip witch magic. You must nominate uh, Shadow Collective Maul. When building a command hand, treat this card as though it has one pip. Remove of two wound tokens and any number of poison or mobilized tokens from Maul. When Maul activates, he recovers. Two pip for Maul, his eminence. Maul in one unit, you must nominate Shadow Collective Maul. Maul gains one dodge token. Each other trooper unit at range one of Maul gains one suppression token. When another friendly trooper unit at range one of Maul activates, it skips its rally step. That unit cannot be suppressed or panicked. And the three pip sees what power we can. Maul in two units. You must nominate Shadow Collective Maul. Place one aim and three surge tokens on this card. Each time an enemy unit at range one of Maul spends an aim, dodge, or surge token, place one token of the same type on this card. Friendly mercenary units can spend tokens on this card as if their unit has those tokens. And then we've got the command cards for the Darth Maul expansion. Um, Maul, Maul gains the one pip, Duel of Fates. Maul gains one dodge token and disengage. When Maul is engaged with an enemy unit, the unit cannot spend aim, dodge, standby, or surge tokens. The two pip, Maul and one trooper. Um, Maul cannot attack. Enemy units beyond range two of Maul cannot attack him or. If you divulge during the deploy unit step, Maul gains infiltrate. During the first round, Maul and friendly Dark One Sith probe droid units cannot perform objective card action. Discard this card after it's revealed. And the one pip at last. When building a command hand, treat this card as though it has three pips. Maul gains one aim token and Jedi Hunter. When he activates, he may suffer a wound. We have Maul's command card. Jump one, allies of convenience, deflect, immune pierce, geo mastery, and wound one. Uh, his double blade light saber, saber for red, for white, impact two, pierce two, health of six, resiliency of three. He is still an operative unit, um, but this mall can only be taken with a shadow collective. The Mandalorian super commandos also can only be taken with the shadow collective, three in the unit. Uh, health 1, Resiliency 2, Surge Defense. Uh, combat Expertise is 2 black for melee. They have the West Star 34, 35 Blaster Pistols, one range 1 to 2, 2 black. And the Galar 15 Blaster Carbine, range 1 to 3, black and white. Jump 2, Defend 1, after you're in an order, gain a dodge, impervious. Uh... And independent aim one at the start of the activation page. If you do not have an order token, gain one aim token. Black Sun Enforcers can be taken by... Uh, looks like Separatists and Empire. Order unit. One health, one resiliency, speed two. One red in melee. The BH4 double pistol is range one to two. One black, one white. They have Dauntless, Independent Aim 1, Precise 1, and Self-Preservation. When checking whether you panic, you cannot use the Courage value of units that are not the same affiliation as you. Black Sun Vigo is the Commander. Um, health of 4, Resiliency of 2, Speed 2, 3 Black in Melee. Vigo's BH4 Double Blaster, Range 1 to 2, 2 Black, 2 White. He has Aid. When you would gain an, gain an Aim, Dodge, or Surge Token, another friendly... Um, mercenary unit at range 1 and in line of sight may gain that token instead. If they do, you gain one suppression token. Again, this one can be taken with Empire and CIS. He has Dauntless and Independent Aim 1. The Pike Syndicate Foot Soldiers can be taken by all four factions. Sporty Unit, Health of 1, Resiliency of 1, 
uh, surge on defense. Two white for the stun baton in melee, or the P13 long blaster, one to three, one black. Uh, Danger sense two, outmaneuver, self preservation, and independent dodge one. And the Pike Syndicate Campo is the commander. Um, he also has aid, the same thing that Vigo had. He can be taken by all four factions. Uh, four health, two resiliency, white defense dice, surging on defense. Uh, melee combat is one black. And Capo's P13 long blaster, one to three, three black. And he has aid, danger sense two, and independent dodge one. So that's everything that comes in the Shadow Collective starter set. I would have liked to have seen some dice, but I know that they have the new uh, Essentials pack that you can get the dice. So for, I think it retails at $59.99, so you're looking at $80 essentially to get dice, cards, movement tools, and at least a little uh, a start for a new faction. Or you can add some of these minis to your existing faction. All right, so that'll do it for this unboxing video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some of these assembled and start painting up what we've got. Hopefully we'll have some painting tutorials on some of the things coming up. But until then, embrace your geek.